Hey, Jaffo, cue the 80s synthwave music. We've got Blue Thunder. Yeah. Who makes this thing? Dream Machine Organic. Dream Machine Project. It is a dream machine. I love Blue Thunder. Love me some Blue Thunder. Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, the 80s. Ha. The decade of, of, you know, the real character of the movie or TV show is the vehicle. We didn't even show you the whole box. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. But yeah, there we go. Uh, something fancy. This way came from J.A. Pan, well, China. Um, I believe the sellers from all this stuff I get is, oh, lovely, in Japan. Uh, this is a 132nd scale die-cast model of Blue Thunder. Oh, lordy. You are a gorgeous girl. Oh, yeah. I mean, they called Airwolf the lady. Did I tape this back down when I moved? No, I didn't. It's just very precisely fitted. A little protective plastic there. A little very... Very carefully, whoa, wiggle her out of there. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. A little sensors, a little turbo boost, a turbine boost. I mean, it had a lot of the, the whiz bangery, similar to, you know, Airwolf. And, uh, you know, I'm in, I'm in some Airwolf groups. In one Airwolf group, uh, they occasionally, you know, bring up, you know, Blue Thunder. Because there's another, you know, 80s supercopter. And they have those crazy, fun, fan-made, uh, you know, battle videos between Blue Thunder and Airwolf. And, you know, some of them Airwolf wins and some of them Blue Thunder wins. Uh, they're, they're all in good fun. I, I, have, I, have, I have really, I, I, have, I really have no, no affiliation with either side of the, um, the fan videos of which one is better. Is it Airwolf or Blue Thunder? I'll have my opinion. I'll keep it to my damn self, as I should. Um, I am I am a nonpartisan reviewer here, um, unboxing this this little beast. Um, a weird little piece of hard plastic inside the box. It's like almost a piece of glass. I don't know what it's for, but either way, um, we have also this lovely thing. A little well, it's not really all that lovely. It's just it's just a plain ass piece of uh, of plastic. That you can that you can sit the plane on, and that's there's, there's nothing special about that stand. It doesn't even have the logo on it. Okay, well let's put that aside. Uh, hang on, find some space over here, I guess. All right, and let's get our, you know what? Let's get our pimptastic little turntable thingamajigger, and uh, the rotor, the tail rotor. You don't need to assemble. Because it's got that beautiful internal... I love that style of, you know, internal protected tail rotor. The finish on this is interesting. It's got like a pebbly texture. Look at this. Those are... The details on this is very nice. 2009. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is getting on in years. I've taken very good care of it. I had it carefully displayed in my glass toy cabinet um, that I don't have available anymore. For, yeah, that's not like a bad decal. That is texturing to the actual model, to the die cast. It's got some weight to it also. I gotta remember how to put these rotors together. Something like, something like that. There they go. So you just get the little, little rotors. And they just kind of, they don't lock in really. You know, they're just, they're delicate. Anything like this is delicate. You know why it's delicate? Because it's expensive and nearly impossible to replace. Um, there we go. And the main rotor blade it does spin on its own. It's just freewheeling. It's not motorized like Airwolf. Uh, like the 148 scale Ayoshima diecast Airwolf, but it is a very, very beautiful model. Oh, yeah. Okay, this thing spins too damn slow for me. Either way, um, we've got the back area where the, uh, the data tapes... Come on. Come on. 
There we go. We got the back area where the data tapes go. Everyone remembers that from the movie. No! Ah! See? I'm in... Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, this is... This, this, you know... Ah, ow! Oh, and I just banged my head on the bottom of the workbench. Okay, it's blooper central time. I don't edit. I record in single takes. Um, let's just put that main propeller blade down. Um, I think that... Are those chain gun... Oh, come on, camera. What the... Are those the chain gun ammo belts? Yeah, probably. Um, and you get the little, little light, little lights in the front there. I don't know, the, you know, the sensor weird doohickey boxes that are on here. Now, I think based on, based on the, based on the movie, I'm going with the movie. Based on the movie, um, a gun, the, you know, the bad guy and, and, you know, the jackass and Tulu, that jackass in the movie, he was shooting up. Uh, Blue Thunder pretty bad with that, uh, looked like a 30 millimeter auto cannon, maybe a 20 millimeter type thing. It wasn't like, it wasn't something as pedestrian as a 50 cal. It was a big gun. I mean, it, it did some damage to good old Blue here. So just conjecture wise, um, who would win is, is up for debate, but, um, I'm not sure. Who would it be? We're not quite sure. Let's get back out. Ah, this is stupid. The stupid zoom. Um, so here, this is the Aoshima uh, 148 scale Airwolf. And uh, she's a sick little girl. The lady is not feeling well. Um, we have to fix her. The, 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 auto, the, the, the whole propeller rotating thing, it's, it's all seized up or something. I hear there's quite a few complaints about that uh, getting seized up. We've got we've got a variety of little electric motors in from eBay. We're gonna try to fix this sucker. Um, if these aren't the right motors that I already have, um, I can order more motors. I'll just take the motor out of it instead of guesstimating, and I'll uh, take the motor out, measure it, and I'm sure I'll be able to find a new motor if it's even the motor. Could be the gears are all chunked up or something. Um, yeah, well, let's not steal the show. This is about. Blue Thunder. There we go. Uh, lovely, lovely piece of hardware. If you could find one of these online brand new, I mean, this is the most beautiful, most detailed, awesome, available version of Blue Thunder. Um, especially, you know, for die-cast models. You know, there was a couple Ertl toys uh, back in the day. I, I think I had an I had an Ertl Airwolf. I had an Ertl Airwolf, like, you know, Matchbox scale, Hot Wheels scale. Um... I had an Ertl Airwolf, and I know I had an Ertl... I think I had an Ertl Blue Thunder. I'm not sure. I, I, can, barely re I can barely remember, you know, what I had for breakfast. Uh, I remember what I had for lunch, because, oh boy, made me go to the bathroom real fast. Thank you, microwave burritos. Uh, but, uh, whatever. Um, where was I going? Yeah, this is, the, this is the pinnacle of Blue Thunder, in my opinion. It was a big toy, like an action figure scale toy. You know, like a 3.75 inch type of thing. But, eh, detail, you know, toys. Uh... This. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, it makes me want to have these all out again in a cabinet and see them all. Uh, but uh, back in her box, she will go. Um, we have some some display limitations in the current house we're in. So either way, that's it. There's Airwolf. Get out of here, Jaffo. Bye.